Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to work with Terraform version control. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the live session, let's talk about the version control system and discuss about the case scenario where we required versioning control environment. So basically what happened, Hershey Corp and a, and a community of open source actively develop and maintain the Terraform CLI. As you use Terraform, you will often have the opportunity to upgrade uh, to the latest version to receive the benefits of the new feature. But what happened if we didn't specify the required version uh, on my uh, Terraform configuration file? Okay. So uh, during the next Terraform init command, it will be automatically update and install latest version, available version of Terraform and associate plugins also. So what will be the drawback of this case? Suppose we have a different team member in our large project and I need to share my configuration code file with the other team member. So possibilities are there. Might be I'm working uh, on 1.1 uh, version of Terraform and my other team member working on 2.2 version of Terraform. So once other team member uh, try to run my code in their own environment, possibilities are there, the code will not run because I have write code on the basis of my available Terraform version and could be the vice versa condition also possible. So what uh, Terraform recommended you, it says always go with the required version feature in your configuration file so that anyone run like Terraform init command or apply or plan command, Terraform validate first whatever the version is mentioned in the configuration file is available or not uh, during its match to the running environment. If the, if the version match, it will run, otherwise it will show you the error uh, warn or uh, specified version are not matched. So let's do the lab and practical try to understand uh, versioning control environment or feature on the Terraform. Okay, so guys currently I'm on my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 9. So let me clear the screen first. Cat, uh, cat etc Red Hat release. You can see currently I'm using RHEL 9.0. And uh, if I run Terraform hyphen hyphen version command, you can see that currently install version is 1.2.5 which is the latest one. So let's move to the project directory and start working with the version control feature. So if I run the ls command, here I have my project directory and under here if I run ls minus a command, currently there is nothing any configuration file or nothing any .tf file which is related to my Terraform project. So let's see what happened if I didn't mention any version feature and try to deploy my any new resources. So for the testing purpose, I have my resource file in my temp location. So I just copy from temp location and paste it here. See temp resource.tf and I just mentioned uh, here uh, main.tf file okay so now if I open my main.tf file see here I have mentioned provider would be AWS and reason is as if, uh, Asia Pacific Mumbai and the resource is AWS S3 underscore bucket with the identical name that is first and uh, the bucket name is demo 321123 bucket and uh, that that is a small uh, few lines related to the S3 bucket. So now let me uh, save and quit from this file and try to check the syntax of this file first. So I save and quit and I run the command Terraform uh, validate. Let's try to check the syntax. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> you can see that uh, I got the error. Provider is missing. So firstly it's saying uh, I have to run the Terraform init command. So let's see what happens if I run the Terraform init command. So initializing the backend, initializing provider plugin, finding latest version of HashiCorp slash AWS and installing HashiCorp AWS version 4.22.0. So you can see that it's automatically download the latest version from HashiCorp and uh, it will take some time to be download. So just wait for a moment. Let it be complete first. See, Terraform has been successfully initialized. Now, if I run ls minus a command one more time, <coughs> see, you can see that I have got dot Terraform folder and one hidden file, which is dot Terraform dot log dot SCL. So, if I run the tree command, tree uh, tree dot Terraform, and see that what happened, dot tree dot Terraform. So you can see the hierarchical structure of complete folder and you can see that at the last latest version entry is mentioned that is 
am i right so if i run the terraform version command terraform version you can see that uh, here basically we have two version what first one is a terraform itself version that is 1.2.5 that is the latest one and the second one is the latest aws plugin uh, version which is 4.22.0 so provider plugin are released separately from the terraform itself they have different set of version number as soon as terraform release its own update version parallelly it release updated provider plugin also so now if i open dot terraform dot local dot scl file see what happened cat dot terraform dot look dot scl see uh, you can see that it's clearly mentioned this is the main this this file is maintained automatically by the terraform dot init command look at that it's clearly mentioned here okay and the latest version is uh, 4.22.0 so this is the default behavior which automatically download the latest version if we didn't mention any version control feature so now what i'm going to do i create a file uh, version.tf file name could be anything but the extension should be .tf where i mention my versioning feature okay so let it be clear the screen version v r s i o n s i o n .tf file okay so um, basically the terraform configuration block type is used to define the version feature so for the entries i go to the terraform.resty.official website so give me one sec let me open the official website terraform.registry.io you can go to the official website and uh, under the provider see browse provider and that provider you have the uh, i'm going to select my aws and under you have find out aws provider option use provider option so click it that look at that the syntax is here so what i'm going to do i just copy the syntax from here and paste it into my location okay so i just select the entire one and say copy and move my own location right click and paste okay so here it is so i remove last three line no need it because i have already mentioned my provider so i just save and quit okay so now let's try to uh, here i have uh, the entries related to my version so uh, uh, it's a uh, required provider that is aws source is hashicorp/as and version is mentioned 4.22.0 so from here i'm going to modify the version entry see i'm going to modify it, uh, uh, remove 4.22 i said 3.71.0 that's sufficient okay so now this is a aws plugin version so now if uh, here i have mentioned exit uh, exit version we have multiple option to define the version syntax let me open one more time go with the web browser and then type terraform terraform and we can say version and constraint okay see we have an n number of options are there rather than you can go with exit match or you can go exclude the exit version or greater than or less than or less than or equal or greater than or equal okay so i just mention go with the exit one see what happen if i run again terraform plan command okay so uh, i save in quote form and say terraform plan command one more time see what happen uh, yeah look at that i got the error because why because uh, i am mentioning the version control feature in my config file an error is in constraint dependency log file now it is log with the latest version it says log version 4.2.22.0 doesn't match with the version whatever we have provided 3.71.0 so how to unlock this feature and update this entry so for this we uh, they are saying that you have to run the command terraform init hyphen upgrade so terraform init init hyphen upgrade okay now i press the enter see again initializing the backend and look at that look at that this is the this time our version is 3.71.0 so uh, this is all uh, this automatically update the entry in dot terraform folder as well as dot terraform dot log file okay so now this time it started uh, uh, fetching or uh, download the plugin based on 3.71.0 okay so basically i'm talking about the log file so terraform dependency log file always uh, allows us to uh, lock a specified version of the provider if a provider already has selected record in the log file terraform will always reselect that a version of installation even if a newer version has been available has become available so you can override the behavior by adding the hyphen upgrade option when you run the terraform init command 
once it will be successfully updated you got the entry in dot terraform folder as well as the log file okay so just wait for a minute couple for a minute let it be download first let it be update first then we will see the entry in dot terraform folder as well as dot log dot scl file okay so let it be complete Yeah, you can see Terraform has been successfully initialized. Okay, now if I run the command tree dot Terraform folder, see that. <clears throat> you can see the both available plugins are there. And if I run the cat dot Terraform dot log dot SCL, here the update entry is available on the log file that is 3.71.0. So now if I run the Terraform validate command or plan command, it should work. <coughs> So again, I go with the Terraform validate first. Let me check the syntax. Yeah, configuration is valid. And see what happens if I go with the plan command. So configuration is valid and plan one to add. Yeah, it is clear. So we can do, uh, it's working fine. So we have, we can do one more thing. Uh, we can add one more line in the version.tf file and mention that Terraform version also. So what I'm trying to say, I open version.tf file and here I just mention uh, one more time. Uh, I copy the line, paste it, required providers. No, not required providers. I said required uh, version is equal to in current current line currently i'm using 1.2.5 something like that now so you can just put up your aws version here so like this way we can mention the entry so finally in this file i have defined two version first one is 1.2.5 which is the terraform itself version and a second one is 3.71.0 which is the aws plugin version so now if i run the terraform uh, save and quit from there and run the terraform plan command see uh, it should work Yeah, plan one to add or if you wanna do the deploy, you can go with the apply command. So once I run the Terraform apply command, it will say, are you sure to continue? It will ask for the prompt, say yes, and should work. AWS underscore ST underscore bucket dot first creating. Yeah, it successfully resource one is added. Even we can verify the cross command Terraform state list. See, it's installed. So guys, uh, this is how uh, you can work with the Terraform dynamic block or, or sorry, uh, you can work with the Terraform version control feature. And this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something that I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please uh, leave your comment and subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.